The history of motocross is uh, a very rich one. It started in Europe as scrambles in, uh, in the 1940s, culminating with the formation of the Motocross to Nations, which is basically the Olympics for motorcycles in 1947. The world sanctioning body for motorcycling, the FIM, or the Federation for International Motorcycling, uh, in 1957 started the World Motocross Grand Prix Series, which was the pinnacle uh, at that time. In 1970, several of the European riders went over to America to do some races called the Trans AMA Series, which was kind of a, a national series over here. That sparked motorcycling here to the point where in 1972, the AMA, or the American Motorcyclist Association, started the series that is now the AMA Motocross Nationals. After 1972, motorcycling in America in general just gained huge popularity all through the 80s with riders like Johnny O'Mara, Rick Johnson, uh, Brock Glover and David Bailey really set a precedent um, and popularized almost to, to mainstream um, stardom some of the top riders in, in motocross. And nowadays we have the American Supercross series, which is the basically the pinnacle of racing in the world, um, as well as the AMA Motocross National Series that spurred from the original 1972 series that they promoted. And Today, the United States is, is a hotbed for motocross, attracting the top riders from all over the world. The FIM series in Europe is still going strong. Um, the Grand Prix have a lot of very, very talented riders, um, but it seems like a lot of the top riders over there will eventually migrate to the United States, which has been for a while heralded as the, uh, the hotbed for, for motocross racing in the world and uh, kind of the standard by which everybody's measured.